God often wants to do a new thing in our lives, but do we allow him to do it? Simple question, do we allow God to do it? Now, Jesus gives a parable one time, and I think what he says in this parable helps us to think about these things. He gives the parable about these two things. They are um, things to hold liquids in, in the days of Jesus. Now, we would use bottles, we would use plastic bottles, glass bottles, but in the days of Jesus, they didn't have those. So, does anyone know what the water or liquid containers were made of? Animal skins, Charlie, you got it, yeah, animal skins. And skin is very good like that. You'd think, well, that's weird to use something like a cloth or a fabric to, uh, to contain something, but skin is watertight. You've all got skin covering your body, and you notice it does its job very well because all the gooey, wet bits inside you don't keep falling out. <laughs> skin is really good. It does its job well. And so and people would use uh, these skins to be able to carry around water, and in this case, what we're talking about is wine. Now, as you're looking at these two wineskins, you might notice something about them. One is very uh, clear and uh, very new, and one is very old, faded, cracked, dry. Not cracked that there's a hole in it, but just it's, it's become very stiff. And that's what happens with animal skins. Uh, after a while, they start to lose their elasticity. Now, that's important when Jesus gives this parable, because first of all, what he says is, he says, let's fill these both up with some wine. So here's the wine coming up in here. Here it goes. There's the wine. So both these wineskins are full of wine. But the reason Jesus tells this is because there is something not about the uh, skins as such, but something about the wine as well. Because when new wine is made, it hasn't stopped growing. Now, I don't know if you know that, but there's a process. It sounds a funny thing to talk about wine growing, but there's a process called fermentation. And fermentation makes the wine get bigger. Now, what I mean by that is if you think you've got this much wine to start with, as it continues to ferment, the volume increases, and so it gets bigger. Now, what Jesus' point is this, is that if you put wine in an old wine skin that doesn't stretch anymore, or if you put wine in a young wine skin, which is still stretchy and elastic -y, he says that the one that goes into the new one, as the wine grows, the skin grows with it. Okay? Do you get that? But the skin can't grow on an old wine skin. What happens if you put new wine in an old wine skin? Well, the Bible says it bursts. And as it bursts, what happens is all that wine, hopefully, hopefully, starts to fade away again. Where does the wine go? Well, the wine ends up, the wine starts to disappear all over the floor. Okay, and the wine is ruined. The skin is ruined. Why is Jesus telling us this? He's saying it because Pharisees were coming up to him and saying, why are your disciples doing new things? Why aren't they following the rules that we've always had? And Jesus said to them, I haven't come here to fit into your rules. You now need to change to fit into who I am. He's saying, I'm like the new wine and I need to come into your lives, which are like these old wineskins. It won't work until you change. Most of the Pharisees ignored him. Most of the Pharisees were so stiff and dry and faded and wrinkly and refusing to change, they said it will not change us. But there were some, like Nicodemus and Paul, who said, yes, I want to change. I want to be different. But it wasn't just a case of fitting Jesus in comfortably to the life they already had, finding a little slot for him amongst all their rules and traditions. They had to be completely changed from the beginning. They had to become like new wineskins. I say that to us because I think God's calling some of us to become new wineskins. It's very easy to say, well, I'm going to have Jesus as a bit of a hobby. I'm going to come to church on a Sunday and maybe I'll go through the motions and every now and then I'll do something that seems a Christian. But God is saying, if you want the full benefit of what God can give you, it needs to start from the beginning. Jesus wants to put the Holy Spirit of God inside you. But the Holy Spirit of God can't come inside you until he first changes you and you allow him to change you. What does Jesus say? He says, you need to be new creations. You were dead in your sins, but I need to make you alive in Christ. It's a new birth. It's a new skin. It's a new life. 
And even if we've been walking with God a long time, there's still that tendency for us to get stiff. God is calling all of us, get stretchy again. Get stretchy with your time. Get stretchy with your heart. Get stretchy to be able to embrace all that God might want to do in your life because he wants to do a new thing. How do we do that? We come to the end of what we're doing and say, Lord, make me new. Change me. Speak to my heart. Transform me that I might be the person that you need me to be.